Dad, watchers and listeners, it's been a long time since we've recorded. This is the first one after two months or so. We really hope you enjoy it. We had a lot of fun. Me, Meg and Jules debriefing our Trek 26 walk. That's basically it. Enjoy the episode. I see a little shit of butter, man, a sun, and a bush, a bush. <laughs> Welcome back to Health and Truths. Ooh. It's really nice to be back. It's been so long, I've really started to miss it. So I think maybe it's been maybe about f- a month, two months? Two um, months. More towards recording. two months than one, I think. So it's been a amount of time between a month and two months <laughs> since we <laughs> last recorded. Pen. And I really felt that I've really started missing it and was feeling really. Yeah, We've, we, we to had to take back. the time to figure out what. The it's been frick a, we were doing. It's been a crazy little old month. Well, yeah, the the summer and this month has been mental. Busy bee and just a lot of events and happenings and goings-ons. But it's all for your benefit. So, yeah, um, we're coming back. We're coming back better and different. That's something nice <laughs> Better and different. Better and also just different as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really excited to be back. Of course, it's brought you to you by uh, Viva Life again. Big up. Still getting £6 a month. Through our affiliate link, which is nice. Nice one. I shouldn't have said that. Everyone's going to be jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting six pounds a month. He's rolling in for him as not me. We got three pounds last month. Oh, oh, oh. people, come That's on. Nine people. in the last two months. Oh, okay. So, yeah, pounds. even when we're not podding, we're getting nine pounds a month. Ooh. We can retire now, I think. I think we should retire. Yeah. Well, let's stop. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cam. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, stop. <laughs> Silly, we're not. No, we're not. So we're back and yeah, we're ready to go again. We've got a lot of plans, a lot of big things happening. What's what's, what's changed in the last month? Well, well we're, we we've got rid of the curtain. They're going to see it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, I answered you and he didn't. Yeah, I was, What I was, did you say? We got rid of the curtain. I was like housekeeping. I was like... Yeah, we got rid of this curtain. We just said curtain. You're on your own. Get, Get out. out of here, curtain. <laughs> yeah, gone. yeah. We threw salt. Get out, Curtin, and he just sort of slinked off. Okay. Yeah. It's very disturbing to watch. It's probably just being a curtain somewhere else down the street. I don't think he ever stopped being a curtain. I don't think we got that through to him, just that he <laughs> disassociated fully from his physical being. Um, Meg and I turned 26, big up. 26, and then... Oh, we did have other actually, days. We walked 26 And then miles. we walked 26. But we'll get, we'll get to that in a bit. Oh, oh, precursor. Well, yeah, so happy birthday to you both. Do you oh. feel different now? Yeah. Feel. Do you know the, what? The question everyone asks. I say you. this. I say this every year. I'm uh, when I turn. <laughs> so now I'm 26. When I think of turning 27, I'm like, no. <laughs> but by the by the by <laughs> July, I'll be ready. You'll be like, fine. Because I was fine. worried about Bring turning on. 26. Yeah. And then in August, I was like, I'm ready. I think if you turned <laughs> 27 before. August, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Because that won't happen. Well, in... Uh, well, I think it's the anticipation as well. Because at that point, bench. you're already 300 and whatever, 64 days. 300 and whatever. 363 it days take... the day before, you're already You know that classic there. phrase, it takes you about a year to get used to your age. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. It's not Who is that? That was me. I've been reading oh, a lot. Oh, that was me. I've been, reading quite... <laughs> I've been reading quite a bit about Isaac Newton. You know, he, he was a bit of a loner and he was he English. Was. He seemed like a weird guy. He's English? Yeah. Yeah. Isaac um, Newton. Yeah, no, 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 no. a no, day's ride from London, he lived. Where, though? In uh, what direction? I can't remember the exact place. Hampshire? He throwing threw, that out there. Right out there. I'm throwing that out there. Maybe we'll put it up. <laughs> it, just, it wasn't Hampshire. He was. He wrote all these laws. You know the three of them? Do you the first the one is the law of gravity, inertia. In- no. oh. oh, inertia. Uh, every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction, and the law of hibiscus. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, he was a bit of a loner, and he wrote, and he just put them in his office, and just never came back to them. He was twenty-three when he wrote them. Oh, no. oh so we've all we're like we're never gonna peak, or oh, we have peaked. I haven't peaked yet. Don't know. I haven't even begun, begun to peak. I haven't. <laughs> like, but I haven't though. We did climb a peak. 
We did. Surely not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we keep that in down. <laughs> you bring Stop. it out one more time. You're Whoa in the there, back boy. of my hand, boy. <laughs> we climbed 26 miles. <laughs> oh, Meg dropped it. And I dropped it. So, yeah, so we're coming back. We're making some changes. You'll see a bunch of the changes by now. And you'll see this episode whenever we put it out, I guess. So. I think October. Yeah, but there's no point telling them this, but... Oh, we won't tell, tell you. Them. Take it back. <laughs> maybe, take it back. Maybe it's November, who knows? Yeah, we're changing things and we're coming at it with... You know more about it than we, we do We basically wanted to, to streamline. We wanted to give you the best possible thing we could, yeah. and we weren't. Making the product as good as it can be. Yeah. And just continue improving. Because when we started, we were just blindly... We went... That's the thing blindly, I, heard, I heard in a book recently... If you, if, whether it's like starting a business or starting any endeavor, if you feel ready when you start, it's too late. Ah, oh. that's ominous. Love it. It's not ominous. <laughs> it's too late. If you feel, that's a good like, it's a good advice for like your kid as well. Like, if you feel ready, you've missed it. Yeah. You're too late. It's <laughs> gone. <laughs> hey, kid, my son, shaking. <laughs> It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready. Too late. Get out of my house. The, the window's bloody gone. Well, that's just saying you've got to fail over and over and over again and make 100%. so many errors. Yeah. And that making errors. But what is I've errors just been mean? listening to Andrew Huberman's podcast today. Making errors over and over again is one of the the best routes into neuroplasticity. Your your brain will figure out which neurotransmitters or which uh, routes are uh, dropping the ball mm. you find out what's over going and over again and you'll locate it and then plug in the change. plug in the leaks so uh, <laughs> <laughs> i want to talk over you <laughs> andrew huberman's podcast the huberman lab i've been listening from the beginning slowly making my way through and it's excellent stuff oh. i will link for the people's andrew Just huberman, getting it get in my ears podcast. every morning well i've been listening to a book about trauma um, making it about me now. <laughs> do you win or something then, or what? I do win. It's really interesting. Yeah, no. What, what's it Everyone's called? Everyone's got trauma. Um, it's called the body keeps the score, and it's by not Sam Harris. He sounds a lot um, like Sam Harris. Oh, uh, he no, no, no. That's someone who sounds like Sam Harris reading it. Oh, that's the narrator. Um, He's got a nice voice. Wait, I'm gonna find the name of the guy because I'll get it wrong. Right, Bessel doing, A. Right. Van de Kolk. The body keeps the score. If you had just rattled that off, I would have been impressed. I know, but I couldn't have. We should remember that every I time. I knew it began with every, a B. Every time you, uh, every morning you should recite that name over and over again. So when someone, the day comes, you can say, oh, it's by yeah. Esselstyn van der Kolk. It is an incredible, Bessel. <laughs> National <Nenna>. Something. Um, <laughs> it's, it's incredibly interesting. Bene- Benadryl Cumberquack. <laughs> <laughs> Benadryl Cumberquack. <laughs> <laughs> that that was those, those memes about Benedict Cumberbatch, where it's what the way he says penguin. No 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 no, it's saying his name really funny. Benadryl Cumquat. <laughs> that was <laughs> one that got me. Um, but yeah, essentially everyone has some form of trauma, and the way it presents is so interesting. And I've said this to both of you multiple times. It's not trauma isn't just from things that happen to you. It can be from things you do. When you're a kid and you do something stupid, that can hold itself as trauma within you. I find that so interesting. Yeah. And it's just not talked about enough how people are affected by emotions and stuff and how events imprint on you and how it, it you carry it. You, and then everyone carries it. The behavioural patterns that people always slip into over and over again mm. are yes. caused, can be caused by trauma. Yeah, and the solutions people come up with can be like so varied. And when yeah. you're aware of this, you see it every day in the people around yes, you. Yes, you, like, you do. Why do. are you doing that? You... And well, in yourself. But that I... was one of the things that you mentioned about it was that like people who are really suffering with trauma, whether they know it or not, tend to really view things through that lens. Yes. So like the what well, is the ink Vietnam thing to vets test. doing mm. the Rochberg test? Ooh. The inch, uh, the inch, the ink blot test. Oh, that's they everything they see is to do with their trauma. They won't see anything other than stuff to do with their trauma because they're in it. They're constantly in it. Their so ego has got them. That, it's like yeah. the power of now in the pain body. Everything is negative and everything's like, oh, this thing. And that's the lens you see it through as well. I've woken up. I'm, I didn't sleep last night, every single night. Or mm. like, I have this hurts, this hurts every day and everything's about them and their pain. Mm. But it's, so, it's so hard to have to block it out. Like I found, and I'll talk about this more about our trek, but... 
Not yet, Meg. Not yet. But she didn't threaten to hit her, just me. <laughs> no, he did she just threaten me. She, she got, that's her first warning. Oh. Strike free, you get the... Backhand? Yeah. No, we don't We do not do violence. No, we don't. We're no. all we're all love. Only Cons- racket sports, Only really. consensual violence. Oh, badminton. Badminton, tennis. Tennis, a little bit tennis. A couple of right-hand choppers on the court. He does He does some backspin, I'll tell you that for nothing. All right. Well, sides from batch from sort of the same. Meg, continue wow. with what you were saying. What was I saying? Something about the trauma test. You did the ink test. You used to do all my ink tests. Oh, no, I no, finished that. No, you did that I one. think I finished that. I was going to say something else. Oh, to do with me, to do with my pain body. Mm. Um, but I'll talk about that later. Every podcast I've been listening to <laughs> is a really short music, but some of them, it is god-awful. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to. I thought you were. I it's like it's dubstep, that. and it's like, oh my god, there's such a good podcast, but the music is so garish. It doesn't I, doesn't align with what they're talking about. I, well, I f- that's only personal interpretation, and the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, is it not, Jules? It sure is. So, is it not, Jules? So is the, it not, the, Jules? The music comes on, it's literally like, dish, dish, bow, bow, wow, wow. Well, like, yeah. Whoa. So the people listening would have noticed we've changed the music. Yes. What do you think of the music that I've got? I haven't written yet? <laughs> oh yeah, and also not we it haven't yet. done it yet. But what do you think of it? Comment yeah. down below. Well, no, it will be done. It will be done. Did, did be you like done. that bit where it was like that, and the middle bit where it goes? No, nah, we changed that. Oh, <laughs> Jul- Julian went back and changed that. Bit I just sure did. All the bits of Roy thinks is in Julian. Takes but we out. basically we put it. F- through the wall, bucket. through outside the dirty bucket. The dirty bucket. We never, the, I could never clean that bucket. Into the sippy it's hippie vintage, cup. Oh, the sippy kip cup. <laughs> but yeah, but that, that, we're making changes across the board, so. Sweet. I hope you enjoy it, really. Feedback. Let us know what you do and don't like. Yeah. Maybe you prefer what I did earlier, like me, as a joke. <laughs> I haven't done I this have, new one yet. You could do no wrong. I can do no wrong. <laughs> I haven't done well. this new one. <laughs> I can't trust you enough. Have you guys heard the done. hidden message we put when you play it backwards? <laughs> What does the bird sing when it backwards? <laughs> what does the bird sing when it backwards? <laughs> when it backwards, the bird sing... That what? is a true thing. Some podcasts, though, you're like, interesting choices. Are they, like, high energy like... after the dubstep? Are they, like, shouting and stuff? Or no. Is it, like, dubstep and, and then, like... like... Welcome back to... <laughs> and now we're going to talk some big knowledge. Well, look... Now we're going to talk some big knowledge. At Huberman Lab. I love his music. Oh. I can't stress enough how much I'm sort Mick's of in love with that. this guy. <laughs> Right. He's an idol. He's idol. Yeah. Well, we'll 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 link that for people to uh, listen at their own pleasure. And slowly, I'm gonna get his attention. Like how we did with Mr. Ballin. Yeah. If you don't ask, you don't get. No. But for now, I'm just gonna express everyone go listen to his podcast. Yeah. It is yeah, I'm can be sciencey, but from beginning to end, you get the full story and pay attention, and you understand it. Yeah. Well, I I um, watched a PewDiePie video last night um, about multiverse theory and it's really interesting and i did understand some of it so i could say it back to julian you did well and you recite a lot from your trauma book that this goes to show when you pay attention to something you remember it yeah and that that's something about learning andrew huberman has been talking about this a lot people say oh playing playing something or a book when you're going to bed and you'll learn it and that's absolutely not the case you'll learn something when you pay attention to it yeah and you use your old tradium rhythm which you have when you're sleeping, which is 90 minutes, but you have that in uh, in studying and learning. You have rhythms of studying. Not that the whole 90 minutes is spent in full focus. It's like a warm-up and a cool-down as well, where you feel your your attention start to dissipate and, you mm. sh- and at the beginning you have to get into it and really put yourself in that. But you have to pay attention. You're yeah. not going to learn passively. No, I mean, when you're walking and you've got a podcast and you're paying attention to it, that's... Yeah, like, well, what I, what I was, how so, I how I was doing it was I was picking up sticks in the woods, and mm. listening, and it because I was moving my body, it that actually helps. helped me to retain information and process it. It's a really interesting thing as well. Like, so talking about active active participation in terms of learning, and if 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 one of the things it's it's a funny thing, but basically you can make it more likely that your baby will have perfect pitch or that kind of thing. And you've spoken about this with Gully. 
by kind of exposing them to particularly intense classical music or you know, there's there's all sorts of things you the most intense a wide range music. of a wide, a wide range of music but yeah it's something something that's kind of like pretty kind of complex in, in harmony and that kind of stuff but what doesn't help is just having that on in the background what does help is playing catch with your with with it with your baby with it with your baby <laughs> uh you know, it, he, she. You know like just like uh, active participation while that kind of stuff is going on so that they're engaging with you socially while that kind of stuff is going on and rick beato talks about that a lot it was interesting what Gotti said about that in um chinese language spoken language mm. has a really wide range and obviously that is conversational so you're talking with your kid mm -hmm. using and teaching them all these different wide ranges of sound mm -hmm. And then I think he said their population is the most likely to have perfect pitch. Because of the tonality. And also, pitch in, blind in people, the... you're removing one whole sense. No, this was in Andrew Huberman's podcast really? as well. Blind people are way more common. It's way more common for them to have perfect pitch. Yeah. Oh. Because they, they, have they have to use it as more. One sense removed and everything. There's way more data and way more brain maps of auditory information over other sensory sense. Sensory, sensory sense. sense. <laughs> <laughs> and we, sense we had um, a piano tuner came, come around our house once. And yeah, he was blind. He was blind. Do you remember dad turned the light on in the loo for him? That Took was, him to the loo, turned the light on. It was a look of just pure... Dad was mortified. He definitely heard it and was like, he just yeah. turned the light on for he me. He just turned I think he specifically on. said, I don't need that, thanks. Did he actually? Yeah. That's how your dad retells it. Oh, he Who knows? Been Every time you remember a story, it changes. Yeah. It's like that Tame Impala song. Tame Impala. <laughs> Tame Impala. <laughs> Tame Impala. I'm busting now. Tame Impala. Hey, oh, you, you we like watched the Tame Impala? The, the Departed. The Departed. The Departed. What was his name? The Departed. The Departed. But that that song, Lost in Yesterday, if you listen to the lyrics, it's like... Yesterday. I'm paraphrasing, but... I've already... We've already talked about it. We have talked about it in this part <laughs> We're just rehashing a bunch of things right now. Ah, that's alright. It's been a while. Well, it feels new, good to be a, back. A new thing that we discovered literally last night was badminton. Well, I mean, we all played we badminton all... before. Okay, okay. What Meg's saying is we have a net now and we played it last night for the first time. <laughs> well, for me, it was revolutionary. Cause I Meg was like really to... good. I really like that. At the beginning, I saw you warm up, you got your eye in, and we were playing in the dark. We and were, were playing bats in the dark. Coming in. Oh my god. <laughs> Dad bats. almost hit a bat. So and then he left. Um, Meg was really good. Your reaction time is brilliant. Oh, thank you. I will play some today. We will play. We will, pl we we'll will play. We will play right after this. We will play right, we'll play after, right this. after this. Right after this. All right, guys, we have other things. You should as put well. a timer. We'll badminton. Time until badminton. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We go from 25 minutes down now. The old TUB. That took me too long to figure out. <laughs> you can see it. It's like. Time. Zooming on Julian's face as well. There's syllables in there. How many letters? How many words? <laughs> Essentially, with our podcast Get now, we before we would do it on a weekly basis, where so it's recorded, edited, and uploaded within a week. And Meg was smashing yes. it. And Meg was put under a lot of stress. Well, no, I enjoyed it, but then I, I rapidly burnt out. Exactly, which is why now we're starting recording early September, and we're recording a backlog, and it gives us more Don't time, tell them our business, more freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just showing the people how it is. Yeah, it's so, easier this way. We've got really really exciting interview to yeah show you guys soon so um, that that would be out october we don't know when yet um yeah probably mid october we'll we'll, we'll, we'll slip it in yeah so exciting podcast coming up yeah we, really we, 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 we've we've made things good for you guys i got really close to the mic Making it so good for you. It's so good for you guys. But I give, think, give us feedback, rate right. it, and be like, we'll love it. It's perfect. Oh, Don't change a thing. The music is just so good. And it's really not too long at all, the music. Yeah, the music the is, could be longer as well. Like. <laughs> Let us know what you like that we talk about or topics that you want us to talk about. Yeah, and on that note, we'll talk about our trek at the weekend. Are we? Uh, Rory we're all... has decreed we're allowed to speak ah, of it. We're, we're all wearing our medals. I'm going to take a picture of Meg. Take a picture of her wearing her medal. Oh, throw it, up, throw it 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 up. Yeah, I, we, my phone we, is so inefficient. We genuinely had the... <laughs> <laughs> that was me pulling a face. We genuinely That's had the best, the oh, best time. That's a great time. one. That's a great one. Um, I definitely compartmentalised the fact that we were going to be walking 26 miles. And um, the funny thing is in April when we decided to do it, we were, we were actually training and we were taking it seriously. And then they moved the date. Well, no, coronavirus. we we were training for July. 
we were they training for July. We were like, we're not training anymore. We yeah, were, literally, we, kind we of all went, like, oh, ah. that's so good. We've got more time to train and then didn't. And then we didn't train. No. I mean, I, when I went to Scotland, I did a heck load of walking. With, yeah. You did? With my boy. Oh, Charlie. Big up Charlie. Went up a, we went up a mountain that was, pretty, when you get to the top, there was pretty much no path and it was all loose rocks. Oh. So that's where you're like, when you're going down and it, the wind started battering us for 20 minutes. So yeah. you're like, Going down, you're like, what the heck? We walked in a lot of loose rocks as well. Oh, it was yeah. going down that steep bit was loose. But anywho, we didn't really train, no. And what of it? No, we didn't really It was really so train. much fun. The was, weather was beautiful. The people was there gorgeous. were epic as well. They were Everyone so nice. Was so nice. What a vibe. Like, was I was chatting to people other. in the queues for the loose. Yeah. That lady as well, when she walked past me again, she was like, and she's checking on us. Them. And I was like, yeah. When, I, when we were in the canals, I was like, yeah. They yeah. were so nice. They were so nice. I genuinely, without those people, I yeah. wouldn't have been able to continue. It was when we'd stopped and people would go, oh, it's hard right now, isn't it? And everyone yeah. was sort of talking to you through it. Yeah. And you felt like you weren't alone. I yeah. I loved it. Mm. It was a it was a really well organized event. All the people from, I guess, the organization. It was a combination of Trek Twenty Six and Alzheimer's Society. It was so lovely. Like, how are you feeling when you're getting your snacks? Mm. They're like, you've just done nine miles, uh, 11 miles. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. doing well. Like, checking in really nice. Um, so, so these angels, sorry for cutting you off there. That's all right. Oh, we're just talking about the, the 27 miles that we did on the 4th of September. I mean, we did was, actually do 27 No, miles. no, it was actually close to 27. Yeah. On my watch. Um, and my phone. It was over halfway and I round up. So it was 26.6 .6 for me because I kept walking backwards sometimes so let yeah because you have to wait for us anyway I was just let's picking go up. from the beginning oh go sorry you're both classic sounders right now <laughs> all I was saying <laughs> and I don't know if it's being said twice or not is that they were really nice very supportive looked after us made sure we weren't in pain there were people constantly checking up just being like it was lovely I was going to try and interrupt you just then to tell you to talk about what you said about us earlier in the kitchen the other day when we were all me, Harriet and Meg were literally just shouting over each other, but at each other. Oh, okay. And you were literally like... <laughs> so an eyesight into living in the Sanders house, if you don't. <laughs> we give him the floor. This is already <laughs> happening. <laughs> as I'm speaking. I didn't say anything. I was just joking. <laughs> so basically, Sanders all talk over each other constantly. I'm sure you've gathered this. Um, and if you want to get a word in edgewise you got to just jump in <laughs> and figure out what you're saying as you go you there's a lot of ways. stuttering there's a lot of stuttering from this boy there's a lot of stuttering from me and then as you're trying to figure out what you're saying and you're stuttering they're making fun of you for stuttering <laughs> so you're, you're either trying to talk with them or in the space or they're making fun of you as you're doing it you said edgewise i think you meant edgeways edge but wise. i like edgewise edgewise you got to edgewise edgeways. how do you get in edgewise. here with wisdom it probably is edgeways. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do apologise. Is is because there's so many. Of us. I feel I feel the the urge to talk over people all we the time. Always talk over each other. I'm like, most, my thing is good. Most of the time, it's already happened in this podcast where I think of something to say. You guys f fly through about four different topics at, at one time. <laughs> I'm like, that's not relevant anymore. Mine's gone. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. All right, we'll talk more about the walk. So well, we'll I say we'll let's go, go from, from the beginning. The beginning. Beginning. I was beginning. gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Did he? My elbow <laughs> cracked. just cracked. <laughs> so we had a nice little uh, house we booked on booking.com um, in, in Method Method Vale. To do. Method Vale. Doesn't matter. Anything Doesn't like matter. that. And <laughs> what did we, we eat? We made a big chili. Oh, we, we made had about a four meals of that chili. chili. Oh. We made a massive chili and we had pearled spout on the side. I made it a bit too spicy. Whole wheat spaghetti. <laughs> I was like, I remember when you were making the spice mix. I was like, there's a... Put the chili flakes the chili in flakes. It. I didn't know how much you put in. I've you must have put in a heck of a teaspoon in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, it was, was really tasty. Like, was the so flavours and It was value gorgeous. Is the flavour time. The flavours and It was and so tasty. So I would have some, and then my mouth would get too spiced, so I'd have to take a break. And I'd be like, do I want to finish? And then I'd have another spoonful, and but, but it's so tasty. Yeah, the faster you ate, the less taste you got because your mouth was too spiced up. Yeah. It was it, spiced it was, up. It was lovely. Yeah. Enough cinnamon as well in there. Yeah, yeah. Rory was anxious about the cinnamon factor. <laughs> but we had it with pearled spelt, mm -hmm. a whole grain, so carbohydrate. Good. We had sweet potato with it as well. Mm. And then when we, so we, took, we took all of that and then made whole wheat spaghetti the night before. Mm. As soon as we got there, we ate pretty early. You ate You're in bed so by half. We put Gavin and Stacey on. Two whole plates 
And then an extra little plate. And then your Weetabix. And then I had four Weetabix. <laughs> and then I went to bed. At, I fell asleep at like 8.30. Because mm-hmm. I had put my light glasses on. I was reading fr- from didn't. the light so. that was still coming from the clouds outside. Yeah, I remember. I, I had to like hold my it. book and like find the light. And then I was... Straight out. Fell asleep. Yeah, I could hear you snoring. I don't think I slept. You well, did. We did like sleep. Half... We just didn't hit REM. Yeah. We were, we were just like riding that wave of very light sleep. Great yeah. too. Plus, we are, now we are old. We are 26. We've so. noticed we have to take our pillows with us wherever we go. Did you take your pillows? We no, didn't. we didn't. Uh, and I think that contributed to why we couldn't sleep. Because it wasn't... I also... Yeah. I would have brought my pillow. But mm. I sort of folded and then I, I hug one. Yeah. And I go I on the side. Pillow. But I fold it so it keeps my neck up so I'm not yeah. correct. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm... I, I'm quite literally two meters wide. He's, at, he's just an absolute <laughs> massive unit. So unit. But like that's a it. Yeah. House. <laughs> Hard as nails can. But yeah, I, I I would do the same. I think bring my own pillow. Comfort yeah. and sleep is 100%. the most important. And you think important. it's like pretentious? Like I have to bring my pillow over. It's not even that like your pillow. You think that your pillow is better than everyone else's. It's that you can't run. <laughs> I mean, my pillow's pretty good. <laughs> like, I wouldn't train for anything. But it, what you can't really run the risk of is going somewhere where you really need to sleep. And sleep is so important anyway. So you always need to sleep. But you run the risk of having like a like a weird pillow. Like that particular pillow was a bumpy. It was the like, memory of the pillow. It, it was yeah. Honest. It was it was not really a pillow. And it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, and if okay, basically the origin story of our pillows is we are spoiled by our friend Ned's mum. We went to stay with them, <sighs> and Louise. we had Come on. oh Louise, we had the best night's sleep. And then I, I genuinely took the pillowcase off to see what kind of pillow we were sleeping on, and then immediately what, what's bought the brand? Soak and sleep. Soak and sleep. Soak and sleep. So, oh. The, the best pillows that so I'll never go back. But that is important, the sleep. It is. We all woke up, we got there in great time. Especially neck pain as well, if you can avoid We were 40 pain. minutes away from the starting point. Yeah. But the, the drive that in the morning was pretty... the closest, pretty, nicest place we could have stayed. So. It was stunning, yeah. Well, I really did look around. The, the, we had a, a the crescent mist coming moon. off the mountains when you go into Oh, the mist. Oh. That crescent moon as well. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, Early morning. Go, go see Brecon if you haven't. It was oh, my we, first time in that part of the world. It yeah, was it's stunning. gorgeous. But yeah, we, we, we had a strong start. The beginning, you're like, this is easy. We were all feeling silly. But Those yeah, first 10 silly. miles were so special. I was dropping. I didn't manage to have my morning bowel movement. Oh, yeah. I thought I ate early enough. Yeah. I like six day, but obviously it wasn't. But at mile see, eight, yeah. dropped the log. Yeah, it was good. And yeah. then yeah. I thought it was mile four. I think it, it was mile, mile four. four. Right. It was soon. Because we had to get halfway up. Yeah. To that car park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, I bought. I no, I didn't bought buy. They gave us snacks, and I tried. To <laughs> I didn't eat pretty some, much go um, the whole way as well. I tried to eat the porn cocktails, um, Krispies. <laughs> you did one dip uh, at the end, didn't you? I was so anxious about getting up that mountain that I ate like two of them. I was like, no, I can't. <laughs> so I put them back in the bag, um, and then we made, started to make our way up the mountain. And the way this mountain works is. As you go, you think that's it. So you, no, I don't know how to explain it. No, no. Every time you think you got to the peak, there was an extra one. And Meg you'd, was you'd get at to this that point. Bit. We were just trying to lift Meg up. We were really. Well, because we I hadn't had my bow move. <laughs> Meg needed one. And he was like, "Go over there, do it over there." I was like, "No, there's so many people." Number two around was us. knocking on the back door. If you know what I mean? I, I, I was sweating from that alone, well, and then also the exercise. We got over a big ridge, and then I, because I got there first, I saw it was a lot higher. I was like, I turned back. I was like, "Come on, Meg!" And then you were like, "You got to be kidding me!" <laughs> I think the, the, the funny thing was is that like, we would like thinking about like the actual peak. We were nowhere near it at that point. But what right. was essentially happening was Rory was kind of edging you out, and I was like. Is this helping the fact that you're constantly saying you could just go now on that ridge over there? No, I meant uh, go over the bridge. But then there's also there is also the fact that maybe Rory knew that we were nowhere near the nearest toilet. So no, we were nowhere. We near. were. We weren't. We weren't. They we said weren't. seven. They said seven miles, seven miles. from mile four, yeah. and, and it was the seven miles uphill. that were the slowest up a mountain it and back down it. Yeah. 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 We were nowhere near. But also, I think a lot of it was how anxious I was about making it up that mountain. Yeah. Because. I had definitely not allowed myself to think about it properly. So we then, all had our hardest moments, didn't we? You should yeah. splice in loads of pictures of it. I was when we got to the top, it was beautiful. And then going back down, yeah, there was the wild horses. Well. There was wild horses. Wild horses. Oh, and, and then... I zoomed too far out. <laughs> but yeah, it was all pretty beautiful up there. It was, the weather was lovely. It was gorgeous. Um, it, we um, couldn't have had better weather. Couldn't, uh, they organised that really well. You know, They must have ha- had some sort of deal. I think with... they threw some clouds in when they needed them Had as some well. deal or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
and then the rest of the walk was pretty well lovely so too. we 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 were I'm climbing speed as it, we though. were climbing jacob's ladder um which is 800 peak, meters up and we had to start scrambling to get to the top i was i was really mentally struggling so i would go a little bit incline you put music in and then i would stop you. i put music in and it was like loads of 90s and early noughties music um and then nice. i ended up summiting because you guys went ahead of me which is fair enough i ended up summiting the mountain listening to champagne supernova <laughs> and i was so happy and we were calling you out as you came up as well, well and there was a lady in front oh, of me and she we were like you were yeah. talking yeah. Yeah. i was she, like then she, she comes and that lady was smiling she, you made her day yeah i think, I think that was well. really lovely um <laughs> this is a thing it was everyone g-ing each other on yeah it was it was really nice uh, I loved it, and then I I got emotional twice during the trek. The first time was summiting that mountain because I couldn't believe I'd done it. When was the second time you got emotional? The end. The end. But we'll we'll get to that. Well, we'll get to that. we should get to that soon. The middle was like, whatever. <laughs> the middle was fine. Um, the middle. Well, we had a lovely lunch. Those first ten miles were honestly my favorite. Like I like as far as like out incline, I could have gone. Like I'm not saying. Well, basically, I just loved it. I loved it was the length of it that was my worst part the yeah. way it was purely well, just like you've got so much it got that's to, interesting I mean there was those middle ones when we were up the top of the ridge walking and we are listening to our tree book <sighs> we'll, 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 oh, yeah, we'll briefly we'll mention the hidden the life of trees oh we've listened God. to about an hour and a half of it it's good homework for that one yeah I mean Andrew Huberman's the homework we'll talk about the hidden life of trees another time and that middle portion we were pretty swiftly and moving nice. It was, that, I think, I was, like the I last really six slow. for you, or the last six or seven. Yeah, where the you, la- the you last... went to the dark place. I did, I did. I was talking like Gollum to myself. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Uh. So, you talk more about your pain, the painful experience at the end. Yeah, so. Um, the dark times. The dark times. I was in a voice Gollum, so I was like, there's a lot of comparison going on. I was like, uh, look at everyone else. No one else is whinging about it. I mean, I was literally going from Frodo level whimpering to just like angry, you were just like you're you're the worst. You can't handle it, like and all that. And like in a yeah, my inner voice was uh, was not good. Um, and it, it's it's so interesting when you, I, I, was, I was basically talking about outside out. I was talking out loud to myself saying i'm going to show you what you can do like trying to talk to my body like trying to push it through that because you just didn't you're just in a lot of pain at that point like my we were wearing minimal like f- uh footwear which is really good for like balance and foot strength and stuff but it just means that you feel the ground a bit more so my mm-hmm. feet were numb and also going uphill with barefoot shoes yeah. your calves would have been we'd had a lot of battered. breaks we'd had a lot of breaks so the lactic acid was resettling in my thighs sitting down i was always like don't sit I know, down I know, I know and we did sit down you for kept a sitting bit. down yeah um, well i found it was my hips like my hips were the problem yeah. yeah like every time i lifted up um my right leg i there was a twinge in my hip and i was like oh. that started at the beginning and mm. then as time went, it got worse and worse. It was basically the point where, like, we got to, we saw this beautiful bridge. We were crossing over from one bit of the river, which been, we've been on for bloody ages. And then there's all these people chilling, they're drinking. And I was like, and they were wearing the T-shirts. And I was like, we've bloody done it. I didn't think we were going to do it, but we've bloody done it. I, I can't believe it. Cross over the bridge seems to just kind of be carrying on for a little bit. And I was like, oh, OK, we must be. And then, <laughs> hmm. And then, then little two mile to go sign and i he i just it. i just i just couldn't i was hobbling i was grandpa well, joe it was so you hard but you did it i, I know i, yes, I kept turning around when we were before that bridge and you saw everyone i was yeah. like can't be long now <laughs> can't be long now guys yeah. I, I was you I were think pacing I was okay. it which was really helping me actually because i I, like... I didn't think it would have helped me to be coming i would stop and wait for you but i think it's like if we're going up the mountain with Meg, if we were to stop every time, that doesn't pull anyone towards you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was, I, it's more I, motivating I, I didn't to need you. Yeah. have a point to work towards. So. No, that actually helped me. Like, mm. But we'll put that are. video you after. I was pull, full Grandpa Joe. Yeah. That, that, that's but not Luckily, uh, our mate Ben gave us the advice. He was like, take a pole. Yeah, my dad's, my dad's walking stick. Um, oh. If you didn't have that, I don't know what would have happened. And we had it right from the beginning. Like, yeah. No, like, oh. I can hear how angry you were at the end, how forcefully you were slamming that yeah, stick I into the ground. You were scaring me a little bit. Yeah, I was needed So that's to. why I was... A lot of that was away. genuine, like, that was anger at the fact that I, my mind wanted to get there. I felt like my body was letting me down. 
But your buddy made it. Yeah. That's all yeah. that matters. And then the, 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 the end, when we were sitting there, it was golden hour when we finished. It was golden hour. It was golden hour. We got our champers and then oh. the drive back, you just sort of feel really... I was so emotional. You're in bliss, aren't you? I was not in bliss. When, f- from every time I was changing the gear, my left foot was absolutely Yeah, because you battered. also had to drive I got pretty lucky. Back. I had absolutely no blisters. I yeah. changed my I socks. I a small like, one. I had a ridiculous Shout one. out to Ultra. A-L-T-R-A. And thank you, Dan, for recommending because they... And thank you to I everyone. I bought trail running shoes. Oh. oh yeah, as well. I was just going to say thank you to everyone who's who's donating. donating. Like it's oh. been huge. Like we've really like between it's every been, person who's amazing. donated a little bit. About like, forty people, individuals. Uh, we've 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 made eighty six percent of our target. So where are we at now? Like seven hundred. There's some checks, isn't there? To catch yeah. It? No, it's I've got two more checks. Eight hundred. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're really close. It is Almost. amazing. And if anyone's listening, here, oh, I mean, it'll be too late by then. Well, I don't know. We could keep it open for a little longer. Do we close it ourselves? I don't, I don't we'll know. I'll But, but yeah, anyway, thank, 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 thank you, you, everyone. It's been huge. Yeah. We, I, I feel it feels so like one of the more meaningful things I've ever done, you know. It was the hardest thing I've had to do physically. And yeah. then from there, it put, t- shows you what you can do and then you can, you've accumulated that emotional state and that physical state and you know where your bar is now, and you know that wasn't it. Because yeah. if it was another two miles, you would have gone another two miles. Yeah, so. 100%. The last mile went quick, I think. It did. I didnn't know that it was going quick. Jules, Jules was like, because they weren't marking every single mile. This is the thing. I was you, like, You saw the two mile, and you're like, I haven't seen the one mile yet. That means it's over one mile. You were going, still. And I was like, Jules, I haven't seen another start. I wasn't going to say anything, but then I could see it at the, at yeah. the top there, the banners. I was like, it's there. And then yeah. Meg catch. I was like, there's the end there. That yeah, I... it was very meaningful. It's nice. To, it really felt good to uh, do something for such an incredible cause. Well, yeah, yeah, everyone's been affected by it. The interesting thing that we found out yesterday, because you went to physio. Do you want to say it or do you want me to say it? Well, I, I already knew I had a bad ankle, a bum it's ankle. It's more than just a bad ankle. I had a bum ankle. I did something five weeks ago. I can't remember what, what, what it was, and I wasn't drinking. No, no, no. You, fe- you, you, know, f- you fell pretty epically. Something let's be happened. Honest. And I had a sprained uh, Achilles tendon for the, uh, for the so entire walk. So he walked 26 miles with a sprained yeah, but Achilles tendon. Since that happened, I didn't non-stop been stomping around, dancing yeah. around on it, but and then it playing is, tennis. So. It is pretty incredible. Mm. Your pain threshold scares me sometimes. <laughs> it is mental. <laughs> uh, I, I'm really impressed Rory with Rory is of us. just built different, I think. Quite, I'm two metres wide and also two metres long, and I'm... Basically, just a hard as nails. But God, I don't want to say God. <laughs> Are we not? I've always said that in this podcast. No, you can bleep it. Okay. Hard as nails. Hard as nails. That's actually my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so I went to the physio in Poulton yesterday. Yeah. For my, my spine. Poulton's mostly. My, lower, spine. my lower spine. My whole spine, really. But And that was through the NHS. Oh my God, what a service as well, all for free. Yeah. Which is incredible, so shout out to that. Shout out to the yeah. NHS. So it was already on the mend. It gets better all the time. It was just pretty swollen sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Swollen. But we took care of you. and uh, I only all... jarred it on the way down You twice. went down quick like God. It's when I went into full he did, he plantar did. flexion and without thinking going really fast, I did it twice. And I was like, after that point, when we're on the flat, absolutely fine. No yeah. Problem. It, it was an incredible experience. I would recommend it to anyone. Mm. Anyone can do it. You just have to know that it will hurt a little bit, yeah. basically. Yeah, and just but train more than we did. As yeah, well. What's 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 living without a little bit of pain? Well, yeah. no, I think that's like why people exercise and put themselves through pain, because yeah. that's how you grow, and yeah. it takes you out of your body, and and out of your mind. For anyone that suffers with a negative inner voice, which we, we all basically do in different ways, it's massive to be able to take the power away from that. Yes. And, you know, the one that says, you can't do this, or you won't be able to get there, or you'll slow everyone down, which is like... Exactly what my voice said from the second you said we're signing up to this to the second we finished, my inner voice was like, you're going to slow them down. You're going to be a waste of space and you're going to be the person that isn't exercise ready in an exercise environment. And you think you know, other people are just built for that kind of thing and you'll, you'll never be able to uh, or you, you'll you'll yeah, you'll be dead weight, all of mm-hmm. that. And it you don't want to talk about it because you don't want to give it life you don't want to bring other people's energy down you don't want to 
make other people think that you're thinking about things other than the positive because you do think about the positive as well uh, but you just show you do that and you show it that it that power is taken away from it and that by having doubt doesn't yeah. make it real and it's just thought patterns you don't have to associate with them you don't have to identify with them and you can do it and then yeah. actually overcoming it and doing it you did you did everything. amazing jules you, you could have stopped you pushed, you and pushed you're getting, for a wall it was there. epic we all oh, well like i said in the post i couldn't have done it without you guys mm. I it, was, have done it, it was without. always a team effort. I also probably so. wouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah, no, we did peer pressure you into it. And I loved it. A little bit of peer it. pressure. A little but bit it, of was, it was, you know, a wholesome one. Like, raising money for charity, doing yeah. something incredible. Like, yeah. trekking the beacons. It was... It was awesome. Those views. It was amazing. And we're, we're going to carry on. We've got the bug now. Yeah. yeah. We're like, going to keep wait, raising what, money. What should we do next, the guys? The trek and hike bug. I want to do the three peaks. I also have but like newfound, really a big squad for that. newfound yeah. respect for anyone, you know, for like running marathons. Like, couldn't do that. No. Just, just damn. Some people were like, right don't even verbalize that. Okay, okay. You couldn't do anything. I don't Makes think them a start to. catch for fi- to 5k as well. You're going to do Angels, what? Angels, catch to 5k. Catch to 5k. It's their running program. Takes you from couch, the couch. to 5k. To 5k. But we did, 20, Ooh, we did 26k. Is this for running? We did 41k. This is for running. This is a separate thing. I'm just calling Meg out on air. Yeah, and he's, you calling actually, out. So. he's calling me out. Yeah. Calling I was running out. around for badminton, actually. You were. Like, you know. And we're about to go play. I mean, we're about to go play. what's the time of saying? It's badminton time. It's badminton, badminton time. time. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah. And again, thank you to everyone who donated. And go to the Instagram to see the whole Welsh journey. Yeah. Um, got some nice pictures. The pictures. It's been, it's been awesome. And on to the next one. On to the next one. Yeah. All right. Thank peace you, everyone. And love. One love. Peace and love. You're taking that from H3. <laughs> Is that how they finish it? Yeah, peace and love, peace and love. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, okay, well, no peace and no love for anyone ever. All right, we'll cut before then. <laughs> we don't want to hear that. Bleep it or bleep it. See, look, even when I do say stuff, he's not even interrupting me. He cancels me after I say it. I just want to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Julian says, I'm just going to cut, cut it. Cut it. Put it in the outtake folder. Outtake I was. So, folder. I tried so hard. I didn't... Uh, Talk over you just just then before. I know. Uh, I was yeah, like, I was running out of things to say. I was like, I no one's interrupted me in ages. <laughs> yeah, you like that long. Usually, I don't have to finish my and then idea. You you're like, and then and then and then you said the thing, and I was like, okay, me now. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> okay. he reveals all, doesn't he? Wow. <laughs> and that was my trick. Basically, Rory will talk over you either out loud or in his head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm not listening to a word you said. No, I'm joking. It was profound. It was really good. Overcoming a challenge. I was, I was pretty profound. I was pretty good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Did times. I move you guys? You I did. moved myself 26 miles. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that? I walked 26 miles. Up and down. Up and down. And sideways as well sometimes. Around people. I was like, too slow. Overtaking. We were so we were so garish at the beginning. We're like, oh yeah, we're, we're overtaking people. And then towards we the end. We were at like, about the same pace as those people that were just in front of us. Like those two ladies. Oh, we, I love we them. We pretty much finished with them. And the lads as well. And oh, the lads. lads, yeah. I mean, one of them yeah. ran ahead and then was sat on the bench for ages. Looking. He looked, he looked dishevelled, like probably how we all looked. Yeah, we need to stay more of a unit because there's three of them, three of us. You can stay as a unit, finish yeah. together, and it was yeah, great. I mean, this is the end of the podcast now. So this is the thank end. you, everyone. Go thank to the you. Instagram. Health Home Truths. That's where Apple. all the pictures are. Give us the ratings. Give us the shares. Let go us know the, what you like. Go to the Twitter. Follow the Twitter. That's going to be more active. Like genuinely. Facebook. Love, um, love to have info. The YouTube. Yeah. Music by Atlas. Music, all the music and, and the sound engineering well. and the mastering by Atlas. And happy birthday to Alex, who's the oh. master of mastering. Yeah, the we're master recording master. this on Alex's birthday. The master master. Master builder, master master. <laughs> <laughs> um, Harriet. Sanders for the graphic design and we love you. logos. Love you, Harry. Love you, Harry. And Meg, obviously, the producer and the editor. Yes. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That's it. And thank you to Rory. Oh. oh thank you to Rory as well. Hear that often, do I? Well, no, without you, I would not have been able to <laughs> do that trick. Right. No, you were 100%. a beacon. On our beacons. Vibes, energy, always smiling, always pushing, always love and encouragement. Big up. All right. All right. Stop it. Here. Right, stop Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.